Welcome back, basketball fans, and welcome to the Arkansas Sports Network's coverage of the 3A State Basketball Tournament. We'll be live all week long from the campus of Lamar High School. The 3A State Basketball Tournament is being presented by Arkansas Tech University, by the Arkansas Army National Guard, by D3 Auto Sales, by Heirloom Legal Services, by Farm Credit Associations of Arkansas, by H&R Block of Clarksville and Russellville, and by Platinum Roofing. It's our first quarterfinal matchup and it's Lamar taking on McGee. Just watch. We're back here and this is a huge one here from Carl. Ramsey Court Lamar Warrior Pavilion. The host team Lamar Lady Warriors are here and they are pumped up for tonight's action as they, we are starting round two of the 3A state tournament. 17 games in and uh, we've got 28 to go. Final two matchups tonight will be second round matchups and we could not be more excited to be bringing you this action. Brad Caldwell along with Adam Johnston and uh, we've got Justin Smith, Ray Garcia, and Bill Harshaw here. And man, we're fired up. Let's go, Brad. To be bringing you the action. I'm ready, bud. Yeehaw. <laughs> so. This is what I'm excited about. We've seen all the teams that are gonna, that we've seen the state champion. Yes, we have. We've yeah. seen the state champion. We have no other teams that we have yet to see, and this is when it starts to get exciting. That's right. So, you know, the first round, you kind of get a few teams eliminated, and then all of a sudden you get you get it pared down, things start getting tighter, competition starts getting better, and I'm expecting that tonight we're going to see that happen. Give me some numbers, Adam, if you can. Just go ahead and read them off if you can got see them. 31, 22, got number one. Okay. 21 and 20. Okay, we'll get them in here in just a moment and uh, we'll be ready to go. We're getting ready for tip off here between McGee and between the host team, the Lamar Lady Warriors and McGee will take the tip. I love the energy that's in the building already. McGee, they traveled well. They got a lot of fans here, got a lot of students. It should be a fun atmosphere. Yes, I, I, I think uh, either the principal or the superintendent actually provided tickets for some of the students. I think they brought up 40 or 50 students tonight, yeah. right? Principal Justin Holt used to be my JV baseball coach. That's really awesome. Really good guy. That is awesome. That's Great. a lot of people to go a long distance to see yeah. this game. <laughs> yeah. It's a three-hour trip, so yep. they really love their girls. McGee gets the first points of the ball game. Now Lamar pulling a three, three off the, no good, and uh, that's Morgan Cochran. And Lamar somehow, that three-pointer is their game. Somehow last night they won the game only making one three-pointer. I, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you how surprised I am by that. They do a good job on the defensive end and get out in transition, but yeah, even without Sanders, this is still a really good basketball team. Well, you've got four senior starters. And then, dribble. And then you've got a, a, uh, a sophomore or junior, and I'll check that right now. Um, Madison Davidson is a sophomore, and she's six foot tall. But these guards here, you're going to see a four-guard lineup with, with Lamar, and uh, they moved the ball very well. Last night they did a great job of moving the basketball, really probably ended up being what helped them win the ball game. I'm excited to watch him, Brad. First time I've got to watch him this year. Uh, my dad taught here for a long time. He, he taught some of his girls biology. I'm excited to see him play. So Justin fired up, three on the way from the corner, no good. Oh. And we've got a foul. Mm. The foul is going to be on Lamar, and it's going to be on uh, Carly Williams. McGee has it, a 2-0 lead, and the ball. Ball knocked out of bounds, lost out of bounds. Going to be 
off of the D. Wow, look at the Mars student section, guys. It's amazing. The, 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 crisp, the pass has got to be a little bit crisper tonight against McGee. They're going to be quick, quick to the ball. Sonara Robinson, two attempted field goals there. She got her own rebound, but could not convert. Lamar gets the ball on the jump ball. Lamar has another turnover. Having trouble against the press of McGee so far. Ball tipped. Bailey Cowell comes away with it. Good defense there by Cowell. She has the ball, bringing it into the front court as we're under six minutes to play here in the first quarter. Cochran, she pulls it. You know that's going to go Ooh. in at some point, and it does. I mean, she can't miss them. She's too good of a shooter. 3-2. Yeah, you, you can't leave her, and they went for the, the no rotation over to Cochran, and she was just able to lock and load. Last night she struggled from the field. I think that she played pretty well outside of that. Sonara Robinson misses again. Rebound comes away to nobody. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to McGee. McGee's got a tall task tonight, having to win this game basically on the road. This is, this yeah. is a road game, essentially. And really, not just any road game. This is a road game that is packed house. You don't see that very often no. unless it's in a setting like this. It's standing room only in here, so <laughs> there's no seats left. You know that one's going in. I'm telling you, she found it. She found it. Two for three from the three-point line is Morgan Cochran. It's six to two. And uh, I think, I'll tell you what, these Lamar Lady Warriors have been through a ton this year. We'll talk about that as we go. But uh, you, you almost have to root for them. It, it, obviously, the McGee fans are not rooting for them. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, if there's a team in the state that most people are rooting for, it's probably the Lamar Lady Warriors. Faced a lot of adversity. Here's Carly Williams, pump fake. Mm. Just couldn't get it above the rim. These girls live, eat, and breathe basketball from elementary. They love it. Bailey Cowell, she's on the breakaway. All the way to the basket, shot up. It's good. Bailey Cowell puts it in. And just like that, 8-0 to zero run gives Lamar a six-point lead. McGee takes a timeout. We'll be back here in just a moment with more on the Arkansas Sports Network. Farm credit supports rural communities and agriculture with reliable, consistent credit and financial services in good times and bad. We provide loans to farmers and ranchers, farmer-owned cooperatives, rural homebuyers, agribusinesses, and rural infrastructure providers. As cooperatives, we're locally owned and governed. We help agricultural producers feed the world. For America's farmers, Farm Credit supporting rural communities and agriculture Learn more today. So if you're not aware, um, Lamar lost a Lady Warrior earlier in this year um, to a tragic car accident, Ashlyn Barnes. And uh, my producer, Bill, just pointed out to me that Ashlyn Barnes has been a part of every game so far here. And uh, apparently Bill has got a number 15 in our bracket. And, and what else, Bill? Uh, just a bracket and a ribbon, uh, a ribbon uh, on and the floor. Bracket. I imposed it on the, the Lamar gotcha. floor that you can see ah, in right. the intros and also on yeah. our brackets. Yeah, so Cochran, three from the corner. Oh, oh. my goodness, three for four, Morgan Cochran. And that's a spot, Adam. I mean, they're going to have to get out there and guard her. They are. I mean, that's three times just left completely alone, and she's knocked it down. Got to make some adjustments. Big time, big time play there by Morgan Cochran. She's got nine here in the first quarter. Carly Williams has it. She gets it out to Davidson. Davidson all the way to the basket. Left and the lamp is good. 13-0 run wow. here as Lamar is up 13-2 on the McGee Lady Owls early in this one. Wow. Ran into a bus all early. Yes. McGee's got to weather the storm. They've got to be able to weather the storm. And I'm telling you, this is a tall task tonight, guys. The emotions 
of this game. You, you've got probably for the first time in the tournament, you've got people standing around the concourse area. Gives me chills just thinking about it right now. It's, it's an amazing atmosphere. McGee, they got to make some shots so they can set up that press. They had some success earlier those first couple minutes where they were getting some turnovers. You got to get that press set up, so you got to make some baskets. McGee has it. Trying to get their first basket in quite a while. Ball's out of bounds. And uh, this gym seats 1,500. I'm going to say there's probably 16 or 17 in here right now. I mean, Easily. There's, yeah. Uh, there's Probably more than that, too. So Yeah, there, there's quite a few in the here. I was talking to Coach Miller yesterday. He was telling me, I wish I had 200 more seats. Yep, yep. It's, it's something else in here right now. The atmosphere is high. It is hot. This announcer's sweating. That's not unusual for me, though. This is either the first or the second best atmosphere I've witnessed this year. I was at Whitehall Pine Bluff where there was standing room only in that one. But this easily matches that. Davidson has it just down low. They call a foul. End of the game is Emma Bailey. Emma Bailey gave some really nice spot minutes last night in that victory. And, you know, without Corey, without Corey Sanders, a lot of people probably didn't give a lot of chance for Lamar to win this one. I will say... And after watching them last night, I really felt like they had a really good shot here. They were quite a, about as good as anybody that's still playing. Shot up and good there by number 31, Sonara Robinson. And that breaks a 15-0 run. 15-0 run. They needed a basket there, and they got one. Nice, Dom. Wow. I'll tell you right now. Shay Taylor, she did a fantastic job last night of passing the basketball, and she just continued what she did. Nope. Ooh. We got a traveling violation. Ooh, I don't know. That's that's tough. That's close. Yeah. Uh, that ref who actually made that call, I actually got to sit down and watch a game with him yeah. earlier this year at the King Cotton. Okay. He was right beside me. We talked the whole game. There you go. 17-4, home team. Three seated Lamar. Kicked out Cochran. Not three again. from the corner. Oh my goodness, almost went in anyway. Ball on the ground. Who's going to come up with it? McGee comes up with it. McGee backs it out. Needing some more buckets. Buckets and stops. What the Lady Owls need right now. Robinson's three is off. No good. Taylor on the attack. Kicks it out. Cochran, that one's in. Nope. I, I just couldn't see her missing another one in a row there, just to be honest. She's finding that spot, and, and she's got the shots. I, I promise you, she's going to make more than she misses tonight there. She went three for six, three for seven? Three for five right now, I believe. But, I mean, if they can get that shot every possession, they're taking that ten times out of ten. Taylor has it. She's now running the point for Corey Sanders, who – the sophomore oh. All-State player got a block, and we got two shots. Corey Sanders was tore her ACL in the semifinals of the regional tournament against Episcopal, and I think they were reeling after that one. They picked it back up, and they ended up beating Helena Central pretty, like by a pretty good margin to get the three seed. And, you know, they look like they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Yeah. For sure. It's good that they got two games that they've been able to play without her so they can make the adjustments and see what kind of team that they actually are now. you got four seniors on this team, and I, I just feel like that they're playing with a lot of desperation now that, hey, look, the last game is the last game. You know, if we lose, we're done. And, you know, they're hosting this tournament here because they felt like this girls' basketball team had a chance to win. So far, they look pretty good. Ball out of bounds off of Lamar with a minute to go and a 19-4 lead and a 19-2 run. One minute remaining here in the first quarter of play. McGee has it. Three on the way off, no good. And that three was by Amaya Esau. 
Trying to get it into Davidson. Ball is stolen away. Sonara Robinson, she was on the break. Ball was knocked away from behind. Good hustle there by Emma Bailey. I'm telling you, these kids are playing charged off this crowd. The energy is high for this, for this Lamar Lady Warrior team. And I like the philosophy on defense for Lamar. I mean, they're packing it in, forcing McGee to shoot outside shots, not letting them get inside the paint. Riley Miller into the game. They're just daring them to shoot threes, and that, it's worked so far. It has worked. We've got a jump ball going to belong to McGee. And I'll tell you, I feel like McGee looks a little shell-shocked right now. Uh, you know, after round one, I really thought McGee was one of the teams that could win it all here. And obviously, we've got plenty of time left in this one. But uh, Lamar has come out and shown that they have every opportunity as well. Good rebound there and good putback there by Sanaya Easter. 17 seconds left, shot clock off. Trying to find Cochran in the corner. They get it out to Bailey. Bailey gets it to Taylor. Taylor looking, gets it to Cochran. Cochran steps back, kicks it out. Bailey, three from the corner, off, no good. And that's gonna bring us to the end of the first quarter. Lamar ends the first quarter on a 19-4 run. Takes a 19-6 lead going into the second quarter. This is gonna be a fun one here from Lamar. Make sure you stay tuned. You're watching the 3A State Tournament on all the AAA digital networks. See you. Your incredible potential and willpower set you apart. You're first to take that leap of faith. First to get to work. First to solve the problem. No burden should be carried alone. We'll be there. Every step, day, challenge. First is your destiny. We get it, because first is who we are. D3 Auto Sales in Desark. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people, and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desert. If you're watching in the hospitality room right now, if yeah. somebody could bring me a hand towel so I could wipe sweat off this bald head, I would appreciate <laughs> it. Lend a brother a hand we need or a help. towel. We need some help here. Lamar has it, quarter number two. Things are starting to settle down just a little bit. Davidson saves the turnover. They try to kick it out to Cochran, they do. 15 on the shot clock, Bailey gets it in, trying to force it down to Davidson. They call it out on McGee, they call it, they call it a tip. Out of McGee, Lamar Ball. Brad, we got 110 people watching on Facebook and 830 on YouTube, we thanks do, guys, we appreciate, do appreciate you. it if you will hit that share button. Yeah, like and share, guys. We need them. Davidson has it. Good defense by McGee. Taylor pulls a three off. No good. Rebound McGee. McGee in transition. A little floater. Shot up. No good. Rebound by McGee. Shot up. Good. Count it. And one. So now McGee has settled down just a little bit here as uh, quarter number two is going. And like I said, I feel like they were a little bit shell-shocked at him after that first round there they just kind of like looking around like what is happening here <laughs> I mean that's just human nature and they settled for a lot of jumpers I think they got to get inside the paint got a rebound off the free throw yes though. that that's not uncommon in this tournament three from the top of the key no good rebound comes away to Lamar wow Williams has it she kicks it out to Cochran Back to Williams. Now McGee has it. Well, we've got a traveling. And that was just good hustle from behind, causing that. Trapped the ball on her leg, and she just she just traveled because of her momentum there. Bailey Cowell back into the game for the Lamar Lady Warriors. I believe your starters are back in. 
Taylor running the point. 19-8 now is your score. Lamar probably needing a score now to kind of stem the tide here. Taylor pulls a three, it's good. Just another good look from three. And they're knocking them down at will right now. 22-8 is your score. Man. Big time, big time atmosphere. This is what state tournament is all about. This is why you love it. Ball thrown away. Lamar is gonna get the possession. Got a lot of games going on around the state right now. Taylor, she gets it again, pulls a three. Just off, no good. Taylor now one for three from three. Coming up on the six minute remaining here. <coughs> McGee has it, trying to get inside. We've got a tie up, jump ball. It's gonna to belong to McGee. A lot of jump balls so far. Yeah, it's the third one, and I, they've all come on this side of the court. Ball's thrown in to Robinson. Robinson's shot was partially blocked, and now Cochran has a break. All the way to the basket, Cochran goes up. She's fouled. She's going to shoot two. There's the old cheer, you can't do that. Never fails. I'm just saying, somebody from the student section, help me out here. It's fun though, y'all, it is fun. It just, mm. this kind of atmosphere, I mean, you know, even for the student body to be able to host a state tournament and have a, a team in it that has a chance to win it, it's just a lot of fun for everybody involved, including all in the community as well. Special time here in Lamar. 14 point advantage here for the Lady Warriors of Lamar over the Lady Owls of McGee. They get it into Robinson, she's partially blocked. Well, there ain't no partial about it, she was blocked by Davidson. <laughs> Ball try, tried a diagonal pass. Ball was knocked away, Robinson still gets it back though. They get it inside, Davidson walls up, shot up. She blocked another one. Shot up, but McGee just continues. McGee just continues to battle on the offensive boards there. And we've got a foul. And they got the size and length advantage. Lamar, they're just sagging inside the paint, forcing them to take jumpers. And so it's just hard to get inside the lane and get easy shots. So we're gonna, they're gonna call it. What are they gonna call here? Two shots. Going to the free throw line is Avion Hill. Foul was on Madison Davidson. She's got two. Hot Springs, the Trojans defeat the Valonia boys. 56-51 in the 5A tournament down in Pine Bluff. We're familiar with that bunch down there. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a good matchup for sure. 5A South doing really good right now. Shot up. It's good. So one of two from the line for Avion Hill. And we're coming up on five minutes left here in the first half. Lamar with a 13 point advantage. Cal has it, skip pass. Cochran pulls another three. Off back iron, no good. Rebound, Lamar, ball knocked away though and turned over and McGee has it. Taylor's cooled off a little bit since that first quarter. She's missed her last three, but you know, shooters keep shooting. If you're gonna get good looks, just continue to shoot them, continue to take them. Kicked out, three on the way by McGee. She knocks it down. That's Amaya Esau putting it in, and that lead's starting to dwindle a little bit for the Lady Warriors. They need to find a way to put one in the bucket. Cal has it, back to Taylor Cochran. Get it inside to Bailey, ball knocked away. We've got a jump ball. It's still gonna go back to Lamar. McGee has gotten a ton of deflections on defense. I know they've given up 22 points, but still getting their hands on the ball quite yes, often. Yes, yes. 
Oh, what a peal of thunder. That's a, that's a big thunder to be that loud in a rumble like that. We got a big storm going I on. Yeah, I told you it was coming. On. There's a severe thunderstorm on its way here to Lamar right now. Hopefully we'll be able to keep power. Dude. Right. That'd be terrible. Williams gets in, shot up and good by Williams. Carly Williams puts it in. That's her first two of the ball game. It's 24-12. Thank you, sir. I, I was hoping a pretty lady would bring it, but I guess you'll do. Thank you, though. <laughs> so, McGee gets it in, puts it back in, and it's 24-14. Williams puts it on the deck, gets inside, shot up. Oh, they're gonna call a travel. Three twenty-six to go now. And we've got a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. It's McGee. I believe it is. Anyway, let's see. What, hold on. Before you. I've already that fired that off. Okay. <laughs> well, we can it. fix it. but Okay. Timeout McGee. It, is it? It's a full. All right. We'll, we'll be it. back in a moment. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I weigh tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Over the years, you've seen me wear a lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention. But we are Arkansas's Quality Dealer of the Year. And it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks and we make the process easy. D3AutoSales.com Back here at Carl Ramsey Court. 24-14. It's a hot one here at Ramsey Court. Apparently we've got thunderstorms on the outside. We got a storm of brewing inside, though. And See, you're not sweating, man. You're just you're getting <laughs> rained on. But the thing is, it's storming outside, but there's lightning going on oh, inside the gym. We got thunder. We got lightning. We got a little bit of everything right now. McGee gets it inside. Cal balls up, and the ball is knocked away, and it's going to belong to McGee. Into the ball game for McGee is number 32, Kyra Lewis. Try to get it inside. Williams with the defense, but McGee rustles it away. Shot up, no good. Robinson with the rebound. She's tough, y'all. And McGee is just destroying them on the boards right now. And uh, that was number 31, Robinson again. She puts two in. Three from Cochran, no good. And McGee is starting oh, to. Oh, wow. Ball out of bounds, going to belong to Lamar. But. Lamar, uh, McGee, if you if you can't keep McGee off the boards like this, you're not going to win the ball game. No, they're killing them on the offensive glass. They seem to be the more physical team trying to impose their will right now. It, well, they are. They are doing that. Bailey Cow almost pulled the three Got to right get there. out on Taylor. Taylor, she pulls it. That's a big one. Shot up, no good. Look at that rebound by Williams, and it's swatted out of bounds. I'll tell you right now, Robinson, she is a big-time player. Yeah, she's been impressive. Maybe a wet spot on the court. Oh, we've got a, a contact. Wet. Did a contact oh, get lost? They are looking for something. Yeah. Very specific. I think maybe there's water on the court, maybe from the rain outside. They're looking up well, at the ceiling. We'll help them. No. Well, if it's raining hard, I no mean, it's way. very possible. Okay, so now. We're good. We're looking for the imaginary water on the court that's not there. <laughs> or a contact or right. earring or. Oh, 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 we've got something. It's been found. Whatever it is has been. Cheerleader found it. Let's see what it was. Checking it back into the ball game. Who's that girl number 22's contact? Leanna Watson. 2.37 to go, it's an eight point game. Lamar went on a 19-2 run. 
to get this lead. Oh, my goodness. But McGee now is storming back. <laughs> All the way to the basket, shot up, no good. McGee just puts it up on the glass and just goes and gets it. Yeah. Trying to play bully ball down there. Cowell, she pulls the three. That's off, mm. no good. Rebound McGee. Nice move by Robinson. She puts it in. McGee Owls are storming back. Really good take right there. And hey, they're right back in this one. Down six. Momentum on their side. They've weathered the storm. Lady Owls are legit. Cal gets it inside. Williams, little up and under move. She puts a shot up, no good. Davidson puts a shot up, no good. They call a jump ball. Jump ball is going to belong to McGee. That was a very quick jump ball call, but in favor of McGee at least. Well, that's, for their sake, that is preventative officiating right there. Don't don't <laughs> let them don't let them wrestle it out because the tempers flare at that point. And there's a lot of emotion in here. You can just feel it. Coming up on the 130 mark now, here in the first half. Great atmosphere in this building right now. Thought about pulling the three. Robinson does pull the three. Almost knocked it down. Didn't quite get it, but guess who gets the rebound? Lady Owls get the rebound. Ball knocked away. Ball on the ground. Guess what? We got another jump ball. <laughs> Never fails. Tell you what, if you get points for jump balls, we'd have more points on the board. It's a battle. It's a battle right now. If you hadn't hit that share button, this is going to be one of the better games that you're going to watch in this tournament. You probably need to do that right now. Coming up on a minute to play. Cochran, that's a big one. She needs that one. In and out, no good. McGee gets a rebound. We've got a foul going the other way. Cochran has slowed down since that first quarter. I mean, she's getting good looks. She's just missing them right now. She's, she's got she's got to keep shooting. Yes. I mean, there ain't, there's no other choice right now for the Lady Warriors. In fact, most of the offense has come from that shot right there. They've got to keep shooting that three. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And you just, I mean, they're too good of a shooter not to make some here as we go. So they just got to keep going. Six-point game here. McGee has come all the way back, down 19 to two early. They're back. Shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Lamar. Brad, we just broke a thousand on Facebook, or YouTube, excuse me. Thousand on YouTube, appreciate you watching. Cal has it, kicks it out. Taylor, 24 seconds, there's about a four second difference, shot and game. Cal puts a three up, no good. Bailey almost come away with the rebound. McGee's on a break, two on one break. Ball is out of bounds, and it's gonna belong to Lamar. Man, just lost it yet, a two on one right there. Great opportunity to cut the lead down to four, heading into half, but just falls out of bounds. 13.2 left. Bailey Cow gets it in the middle of the court to Cocker, nine seconds to go. Nice way to break it, and puts it in for two. They broke the press beautifully. Emma Bailey going to the free throw line, going for a chance for the old fashioned three point play, 5.5 to go. Man, way to finish through contact right there. I'm mean, talking about contact. No kidding. They were trying to be violent with the basketball, instead, they hit her right in the uh, arm. Into the ball game, number 14, Kirsten Carr. We're gonna back her up all the way back. Emma Bailey puts a shot up, off mm. back iron, no good. Four seconds, three. Robinson gets it, she pulls up, 16 footer, and out, no good. That's gonna bring us to halftime. Been a fun one here, 26-18 is your score. Give us a couple minutes, let us compile some stats. We'll be back here in just a moment. You're watching the 3A State Tournament on all the digital networks. from the moment you enter the court. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. 
I chose to be an official when I was a senior in high school, 17 years old. I think it's the best decision I've made. You could play and you could make extra money on the weekends on the side, and why not? In life, Things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and young athletes who can translate those skills to officiating. So much of officiating is not necessarily what you do on the court. It's how you conduct business off the court as well. Being an official, sure it's not easy. And if it wasn't for those difficulties, I don't think I would be where I'm at. Because it helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities and it's just been wonderful. Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of the 3A State Tournament. I don't know, Adam, I'll tell you, I probably had as much fun. Hold on, Lady Warrior, <laughs> just a second. Uh, I've, ha I've probably had just as much fun, and if not more, being here at the 3A. Not to say that anything against the 5A, I just think this is a hometown atmosphere here is a little bit different than 5A. But, man, both of them are fun, the atmosphere is fun, and then it, it's just it's just a lot of fun to be a part of what we're doing along with the AAA. I think I agree with that too. I mean, this is a smaller gym than what we saw last year at yeah. Sheridan, so it's, it's more compact, there's more people in the gym at all times. So, I mean, and the host team, they're playing really well too. And, we didn't see the host team last year go go deep, right. you know, so that, that plays a factor as well, but it's been a great tournament for sure. But let's go to our H&R block of Clarksville and Russellville three-point update. You can see here that down low, McGee's not shooting the ball that well, but they just keep putting it on the glass and going to get it, putting it on the glass and going to get it, and then eventually they make one. I wish right? we had a tally of how many rebounds they no got, especially kidding. offensive rebounds. No kidding, a bunch of them. And then for Lamar, they're not shooting as well from the th free throw line, just two of four. Uh, they're shooting pretty well inside the arc at 57%, especially when you consider that McGee has the athletic advantage there. And then three pointers, Lamar came out, shot well early, it has cooled off later, and uh, they, they just haven't quite gotten that three pointer like, like you know they can. Yeah, I mean, 29%, it's actually kind of surprising, you know. They got off to that hard start, like you said. Cochran making making those three threes back to back to back. Taylor made one, you know, but they've struggled ever since then, and that's why it's an eight-point lead. They had a 15-point lead, and it's dwindled down a little bit. Yeah, McGee has done a great job of weathering the storm. 19-2 to two run. I actually almost said in the commercial break, most of the time when you see a 19-2 run in a game, that means that that team wins that game. Now, it still could prove to be true, but I will say this, it won't be because of the 19-2 run because of that. It'll be because Lamar was able to make some shots in the second half that they didn't make in the second quarter. Yeah, McGee, start of the second half, they got to come out with that same sense of urgency that we saw there in that second quarter, bring some energy, keep pounding offensive glass, and I think that if they can make some threes, that would be nice so they can stretch the floor. Spacing's been a problem inside the lane for them. Oh, yeah. And we've got a bracket update here from Farm Credit Associations of Arkansas. You see McGee and Lamar. We've got all our second round set, by the way. McGee and Lamar taking uh, each other on. The winner moves to the semifinals. They'll play Saturday. And uh, if you see, you've got that ribbon on the court there. That's for Ash Ashland Barnes there. Uh, that's just a special touch there that Bill and Trey Johnson worked on. Appreciate Trey for allowing him to do that. And then we've got coming up tomorrow, you've got Bergman and Harding Academy. Harding Academy to me, of all the girls teams that's played so far, they look the best. Now that doesn't mean they always will, but at least in that game, that they, the, they look the best. That was the best team performance that I've seen so far in this tournament. So Salem and Falk, that one's an interesting matchup. Both those teams have been top four teams in the state for the whole year. And Episcopal and Glen Rose, 
Glen Rose wins a state tournament game for the first time in school history, and they're in the state tournament for the first time in 38 years. That's a big win there for Amazing. Glen Rose. Let's go to the boys' side of the thing. And on the boys' side of things, we've got Dumas. We've got CAC. That's coming up next. You don't want to miss that one. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Charleston and Manila tomorrow. Then you've got Riverview and Bergman. And then you got Rivercrest and Lakeside. That's going to – man, what a day for boys' basketball tomorrow. I can't wait. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun here from Carl Ramsey Court. Or your pavilion. And so as long as the power stays on, Adam, we are going to be here bringing you this action live. It's, and it's they're hot. not going to be playing games if the power's not on. That's so right. you won't miss anything. You That's need true. the power. It can't go out like the Super Bowl between the 49ers right. and the Ravens. Right. So we, as long as we keep power, we'll bring it to you. And as soon as it comes back on, if it does go off, we will we'll boot back up, get ready to go. But here in a minute, we've got second half action between Lamar and McGee. I think you don't want to miss this one. Make sure you stay tuned to the Arkansas Sports Network. Make sure you like on Facebook, ASN, ASN High School, or the Arkansas High School Sports Network, and go subscribe to us on YouTube. We are loving the 3A. Appreciate all the compliments we've got in the stands, referees, hospitality room, and coaches. It's been a great week here. We'll be back in just a moment. Shot up. What a play by the freshman Lily Reed. Row all the way to the basket. Shot up good. I love the aggressiveness of Brooklyn Row. Little crossover dribble. Gets to the basket. Oh, slam dunk. And going to the free throw line. My goodness. Heber still within striking distance. Mark, that's good. Give her an inch. She'll take a mile. My goodness. Seven three pointers now for Abigail Parks. Another spin move. All the way in. Absorbs the contact, lays it up with the right hand. That was uh, Boehner who come in, put a body on him, and what a strong play and great finish there for number 10. Going with it. Oh, man, well, oh, oh, crazy, oh, you're man. off. That was pretty. That's good. Are you ready? Are you ready for tip-off? Arkansas PBS and the Arkansas Activities Association is back with championship basketball. It's going to be live in Hot Springs starting on March 9th. Going to run all weekend long as the state's best players are competing for a title. For all the ways to watch, go to myarpbs.org slash sports. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank, member FDIC. Everyone tells you, to think about the future. But we know there's growth in the journey. At ATU, we value this moment because here, nature becomes your classroom. So breathe it in. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. Well, we're back here, and it has been awesome here at Lamar. Yeah, it has. We got an eight-point lead for the host team, the Lamar Lady Warriors. And I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to have their hands full in trying to win this ball game tonight from this game <laughs> McGee Lady Owls team. Looks like McGee's going to get the ball to start the second half. And it looks like your starters for Lamar are back in the ballgame. 
And it looks like your starters from McGee are back in the ball game. So we're back, right back to where we started, except there's an eight point difference instead of zero to zero. And we're ready to go second half action. Get it popping. McGee has it. They're working it against the zone of <coughs> Lamar. The backside lob shot up and good there for Sonara Robinson. Robinson's so long and she's so athletic. There's just not a matchup that, that Lamar can throw at her. Yeah, she's a matchup nightmare for sure. Williams great, gets, great defensively. Williams gets a shot up. Or Williams gets to Davidson. Davidson gets a shot up. She's going to the free throw line. And if you're Lamar, you, there's not a lot of room for error left here. They've got to hit free throws. And here's the first one. It's good. Shot off back iron, no good. Davidson goes one for two from the line. It's a seven point advantage. Ball knocked away. Cross court pass. Try it again, ball almost stolen. Taylor kicks it out. Cochran thought about the three. Gets it to Bailey Cal. All the way to the hoop. Left-handed layup is good. Nice. Big time play for Bailey Cowell. And Cowell is a girl that does stuff that just don't really show up in the scorebooks. That one did, though. It showed up. 29-20. Get it inside. Shot up. No good. Williams has it. Cal no call. hits the floor. No hey, they got a breakaway. Robinson goes all the way to the basket, shot up, good. That was just a weird sequence. Everybody thought the ball was out of bounds, or they thought it was going to be a foul. And Robinson's like, I'll yep, take that right. and just go down the other end for easy layup. Lamar breaks the press very easily. Williams has it, gets it to Davidson. Davidson, cross-court pass. Taylor puts it on the deck, kicks it out to Cochran. Cochran to Williams. Cal in the corner, she was calling for it. They move in quickly. They try to get it inside to Davidson, ball thrown away. Big possession here for both teams. Got away with the carry. Get it inside to Liana Watson. Ball stolen away there by Williams. Nice instincts by Carly Williams. Where's your scoring gonna come from if you're Lamar? They've gotta find somebody that they can depend on. Ball's knocked away. McGee on the break, all the way to the basket. Taylor fouls. She's gonna send number 22, Sanaya Easter to the free throw line. Good hustle there by Shea Taylor. Mm -hmm. Good job of getting back on defense, not getting mad about a turnover, helping your team out, making them earn it from the line. Yeah, that was a really good foul by Taylor. Shot up by Easter is good. 29-23. Got Dren Miller on close-up cam. That's his favorite position right there. <laughs> he loves it. Second shot up. Off, no good. Ball thrown away. Brad, I think the truth is that he likes being on the other end of that close-up. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Lamar retains the possession. Taylor running the point. Gets it to Bailey. Davidson swings it to Taylor. They get it inside to Bailey. She turns. Shot up. No mm. good. Rebound McGee. McGee now out on the break. Little Euro step. Shot up. Oh. How did that not go in? Oh, my goodness. I don't know, I gotta take the points off the board because I thought that went in. <laughs> wow. Nice cross court pass, what a pass wow. by Williams to Davidson. She puts it in and Lamar's gonna take a timeout. Four point we'll, swing. We'll take a quick one with them. 
31 23 is the score. We'll be back in just a moment. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network, coverage of the 3A state tournament. Moralton leads Clinton at the half 23-22. That's a big one. Over there at Blyville, that's a great tournament going over there. Lots of good basketball. Two Farmington teams moved into the semifinals. We got a chance to see both of those teams last week. They were phenomenal. No surprises there, Brad. Ball kicked out. Looking inside, trying to get it inside. Ball knocked away. We got a traveling violation on McGee. McGee going to extend the press. I will say this, that maybe they're not because Lamar has broken the press fairly easily. And they're not trying to dribble through it, which is why they're, they're breaking it. Yep, you beat a press with passing, not dribbling. Now they're running the weave at the top of the key. Williams gets it, kicks it. Bailey gets it to Taylor. McGee extending the defense out a little bit. Williams gets all the way to the bucket. She gets fouled. Book it. Wow. <laughs> Things really changed after McGee missed that layup that just went all the way around the rim. Got a four-point swing. Yeah. I mean, they, they were going to cut the lead down to four. Now it's a ten-point game in a blink of an eye. Williams puts it in. Get a little shout out to my, my guy Eli Mays with the bucket. He loves that bucket. But we're just giving him a shout out right now. Everybody's got their things, you know, when you're announcing. I guess mine's my goodness. <laughs> Shot up, no good. Davidson comes away with the rebound. She gets it out to Cochran, and ba Bailey Cowell was out past the McGee defense. She, she wasn't looking Carly for Carly Williams, big three on the oh. way, no good. That would have been a big one. There's Robinson, she puts it on the deck. Robinson goes all the way to the basket. Relentless. Gets the shot up, it's good. I, I agree with you 100% there. Got a high motor. Well, she's quick, is she not? Cal gets behind the defense. Little YMCA oh. layup right there. That's what your dad does when you play him one-on-one -on -one right there. <laughs> Bailey Cal puts it in with the sky hook layup and McGee calls a timeout. They're gonna take a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 36-25 is your score. Lamar on a run. We'll be back in just a moment. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time, while I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of the 3A State Tournament. Getting deep into the third quarter. Lamar has an 11 point advantage. Davidson walls up. Somehow they got the ball up to the bucket. It didn't go in. And we've got a foul and it's gonna be back underneath. 
It's on Cal. Bailey Cal, that's just her first. Get it inside, Robinson shot up, no good. Good rebound there. Nice job there by Liana Watson. Shay Taylor all the way to the hoop. She gets fouled. She just said, I'm, I'm just going to take it by myself. I, I'm just saying this now. If Corey Sanders is playing, this Lamar Warriors team is the best team in 3A. Now, I know. I think I other agree. I think there's other people that are watching right now. And I, I, I no slight to any of you, but Corey Sanders is a very good basketball player. And yeah. I'm sitting here watching this, this team without their best player, and they're still playing phenomenal. Shea Taylor puts two in. And it's 38-27. Kick out three from the corner. No good, Williams picks up the rebound. And I tell you right now, there was a, an air of something special in the house tonight, and it's starting to come to fruition. Wow. Taylor has it. She's feeling the momentum right now. Williams pops out. They get it, Cochran. She gets it inside to Davidson, and there's a foul. Davidson going to the line for two. Good job by Davidson there to keep the ball high yep. when she caught it and go back up with the shot. She got fouled. A good pass from Cochran. Got in the middle of the lane. She could have shot a little floater right there in the middle of the lane. Dumped it down to her teammate who drew a foul. Shot up. Oh, that one was pure. Barely touched the net. It's kind of like some of those Sam Maddox three-pointers last night, right? Yeah, wow. He was unbelievable. Boy, Maddox was fun to watch last night, was he not? Yeah, he was. 12-point lead for Lamar. Ball in and out, no good. There's still a lot of ball to be played here in the second round as we are, this is the opening game of the quarterfinals. Live from Paul Ramsey Court. Robinson pulls the three, she drills it. Needed that shot in the worst way. I think that's the second three-pointer they made all night. They're not a, not a good three-point shooting team, but they got to make them pay if they're leaving them open. The Moralton Lady Devil Dogs move on into the semifinals wow. by beating Clinton 41-40. Tough, tough uh, nail biter right there, it seems like. Yeah, I know that, that was a, a wonderful ball game, I know. Coach Matthew Post over at Clinton, he's done such a good job this year. Moved his team up from 3A to 4A. They were semifinals last year and won the region, but uh, could not get past Moralton tonight, 41-40. Great season by Clinton. Mama Spring over Taylor, 68-37 final. 53 seconds to go, nine point lead. What a pass by Taylor. Wow. What a pass by Shea Taylor. She's not even the starting point guard, folks. That's <laughs> crazy. She's playing in her role right now, though, stepping up. That was her best John Stockton impersonation is what that was. That was a great pass. Another, Another one. one. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a move by Davidson. Shot up. It's good. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Tremendous footwork down there when she caught the ball. 43-30. McGee down 13. Go, we're getting close to fourth quarter action. 12 seconds left. Robinson puts a three up. That's no good. 8.4 to go. Lamar gets the ball back. So Lamar seems to have weathered the storm. Yeah. Yeah, we can say that, Brad. Bailey Cal, or not Cal, but uh, Shea Taylor has it. Two seconds, one second. Cal puts it up. It's no good, and that's the end of the third quarter. What a performance by the Lamar Lady Warriors. They're going into the fourth quarter, looking to move into the semifinals. Up 13 against the McGee Lady Owls. We'll be back on the 3A State Tournament in just a moment. 
understand an upside down world. We understand a rogue virus, zero jobs, and stratospheric tuition. But they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Not so fast. Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will. We will because our future is the future. Because the life we have chosen has prepared us for this moment in history. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day. We're going to save families from disaster and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. We invite you to join us. The next greatest generation is now. 43-30 is the score. As we go to fourth quarter action, the Lady Warriors of Lamar are feeding off the energy in the building. Up 13, now they have eight more minutes to see if they can finish the task. The McGee Lady Owls trying to do everything they can to extend their season. Bailey Cal turns the corner, left-handed layup off, no good. Davidson comes away, nope, she doesn't come away with the rebound, Sonora Robinson does. Robinson puts it on the deck, shoots it, shot up, no good. Williams comes away with the rebound. What, what is Sonara Robinson? I think she's an 11th grader. 11th grader, she's gonna be back. Really good player. Yes, she is. Williams puts it in for two. Man. Hector girl, whoa. Hector girls 83, Marmaduke girls 53. Oh man. The Hector Lady Wildcats moving into semifinal round action. Sonara Robinson shot up, no good. I'm no gonna, Hector, wow. Let me tell you something. They're gonna be celebrating in Hector tonight. Yeah. Robinson going to the line. I, we can, I could say this because I've been around. I don't know of a town that has more pride in their team than Hector. No. Nope. Yeah, I I, and I don't know anybody in Hector that has more pride than Trey Johnston. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of Hector pride for sure. Shot up, it's good. I'm telling you, I, I can just hear the, the roar of the crowd in Rector on that one. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Sonara Robinson missed it, but offensive rebound comes away to McGee. Maybe that's what we were hearing. It wasn't thunder. We were hearing the roar. <laughs> Where is 1A or 2A state this year? Rector. Oh, Rector, gotcha. McGee needing something good to happen very quickly. Robinson puts it up, shot up, no good. Rebound comes away to Shea Taylor. Taylor working against the defense. McGee is now double teaming her. Ball's knocked away. McGee has it. Robinson all the way to the basket, shot up good. They're pretty much double teaming her now. You love the effort from Robinson. Yeah, that, but look, they, they have gathered themselves, got the ball in the middle of the floor. Cochran puts a three up. It's off, no good, didn't look good out of her hands. Taylor gets the rebound. Shay Taylor's quick as a hiccup out there. They got a double team. Yeah. Tough to guard. Nice job by Cal to come to the ball. Cal is fouled. Brandon Schluderman was going to the referee about to let him have it. Mm -hmm. You can just tell by the look on his face. They've got a foul, and it's going to be on McGee. That is the fifth, or have yep. they changed the board yet? Yes. Okay, fifth team foul on the Lady Owls. Brandon Schluter, are gonna take a timeout. Yeah. It's a full timeout, we'll take it with him. Five minutes and 37 seconds left in this one. Lamar up by 12, we'll be back in a moment. Farm credit supports rural communities and agriculture with reliable, consistent credit and financial services in good times and bad. 
we provide loans to farmers and ranchers, farmer-owned cooperatives, rural home buyers, agribusinesses, and rural infrastructure providers. As cooperatives, we're locally owned and governed. We help agricultural producers feed the world. For America's farmers, Farm Credit, supporting rural communities and agriculture. Learn more today. Back here on the 3A State Tournament on all the AAA digital networks. We appreciate you watching here live from Carl Ramsey Court. It has been a fun one here. I mean, we are watching some entertaining basketball, and I'll guarantee you next game is going to be right there with it. Dumas and CAC. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah, I'm ready for that one. one. I'm ready to see Dumas in person. I didn't get to see them on the first day, but I know they're a really good team for sure. CAC, great team as well. Lamar gets it inbounds. Taylor kicks it out. Cochran, that's a big one for three. Woo! She drilled it. She drilled it. That's been a, it's been a while since she hit one. She's 4-10 from the line. That was a big three-pointer. Puts Lamar up by 15. Ball's knocked away by Cochran, but she's not able to run it down. That was a big shot. She was due one, Brad. She was. The last three-pointer that came off her hand, it didn't look good at all. That one right there was pure as the driven snow. <laughs> oh, oh. Is that her fourth three of the game? That's her fourth. She's 4-10 four of 10 from the line. That was so corny, Brad. <laughs> Three from the wing, no good. Davidson with the rebound. Cochran has it, little crossover dribble. They back it out, kick it to Williams. Back to Cochran, Cochran. I'm sorry. Taylor. Taylor, that's right, Taylor has it. So he's gonna work off the screen of Williams. Little screen and roll. Nice little travel. shot. We got a yeah. traveling violation. Carly Williams called for a travel. Yeah, tried to step through right there. Definitely was contact, but travel before the contact. That was a great pass by Taylor, though, just to get it there. They're rolling the ball now. Taylor trying to make him pick it up. Coach Schluterman telling him to get back. Don't be baited into it. Shot up, off backboard, no good. Nice rebound there by Bailey Cowell. McGee just all night, it's been, it's been a struggle to score. But you have to put out so much effort to come back from the 19 to two deficit. Yep. And sometimes you expend your energy trying to come back. And I think Robinson just looking at her, she looks exhausted. Cochran oh. puts it in for two. <laughs> McGee taking a timeout. The Lamar Lady Warriors are smelling the semifinals. Three minutes and 57 seconds to go, 50 to 33. It's a 30 second timeout by McGee. We'll be back in just a moment. Ark, a name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and top five dealer in the nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desart. Back here on the 3A State Tournament. Man, it's been a fun one. And there's, you got Corey Sanders' little brother in the house. He looks like Roger Sanders, don't he? <laughs> I mean, he looks just like him. Oh, it. wow. My goodness. Just a mistake there. She rolled the ball yep. inbounds and, and touched, touched it. it first. Yep. Can't do that. You can't do that. There you go again, oh. right? <laughs> right? Taylor has it. I don't know if Lamar is going to be. Good. Oh, nice backdoor cut, nice pass. Oh. Shot up, no good. Williams somehow throws it off a of McGee defender. Holy cow. That's when you know that things are just going right for you. 
really heads up they're play. Not. Oh, sorry, Adam, my bad. It's really heads up play. I have been so impressed by Williams and Taylor. It, just these seniors, they just, they, it's, they've just banded together. Cal gets it, kind of jump ball. Gonna belong to McGee. McGee's gotta do something quick here, guys. Time is becoming the enemy of the Lady Owls. Not, not a lot of time left in this ball game. Gotta pick it up and go. Probably need some threes. They have only hit two threes tonight. And they don't wanna take the threes. It's nope. just not their specialty. Ball on the ground. We got a Lamar rebound and a Lamar timeout. That is going to be the final nice. timeout for the Lady. Oh, nope, nope. That's not right. They've got three left. So let's see. That's going to be a 30. Let's just stick here with it. Let's we'll stick here. We've taken enough 30s. We get a full timeout. We'll take one with them. But, Adam, it's it's been an impressive performance here by the Lady Warriors all the way from the start. 19 to two run, feeding off the energy of the crowd. McGee has been able to pull it within, I believe about six. Yes. But it's about as close as it's gotten. It looked like McGee might make a move early in the, the first or second half here. There was a sequence where McGee missed a layup, which would have cut the lead to four. And it, then Lamar was able to go down and they made a couple shots. Went on a run, they've extended the lead and haven't looked back. That's exactly right. It's just been a tough fourth quarter for McGee. It just really struggled to score the basketball. No easy looks for them. Lamar doing a great job defensively. And I do think that four point swing that you were talking about, I think that was one of the key parts of this half. Three from the corner, Cochran almost, but Williams gets a rebound. She's partially blocked by Robinson. Robinson just rips it out of there. Gets Tough it up nails. court, shot up. We've got a blocking foul, put it in. Amaya Esau going to the free throw line for the old fashioned three point opportunity. With 2.50 remaining, makes the score 50 to 35. Free throw pending. Shot up, good. Nice job there by Amaya Esau. McGee extending. All the way to the baseline, full court action. Carly Williams has it. Carly Williams basically playing a post, but she can handle the basketball. She gets all the way down the court. Nice job, nice way to ball handle. Gets it out to Bailey Cowell. If you're Lamar at this point, and, he, and that's what Brandon Schluterman's telling them, watch the clock, waste some time. 2.30 remaining, and we got a foul. A foul on Robinson off the ball, and Taylor kind of grabbing the jersey. You can sense some frustration. Taylor's pretty much had her way against these Lady Owls. Little Rock Central defeats Fort Smith Northside on the girls' side of things, 57-49. I can't remember the last time Fort Smith Northside went out on the girls' side of things this early. They have been a perennial state championship contender. Davidson has it, gets it to Cochran, 23 on the shot clock, on the foul. It does reset the shot clock. Shea Taylor has it. You gotta bring some traps or something to get the ball out of Taylor's hands. She backs it out. Just wasting clock right now. Two minutes remaining. They try to get it into Davidson, probably forced it, but the seconds that ran off the clock were as important as anything. And we got a traveling violation. Got a traveling violation there on McGee. I thought there might have been a foul there, but Got the backside ref, he saw the, the travel. It was hard to see that contact there. It's a tough break. I mean, you're down 14, under a minute. Hey, um, look. Chances are low, but you never know. This game is a six to foul four game, or six to four foul game right now. I mean, I've, I'm glad, I feel like they've done a good job. So, McGee gonna foul Shea Taylor. Taylor gonna go to the free throw line. She's limping. 138 to go, 14 point advantage for the Lady Warriors of Lamar. Shea Taylor gonna go to the free throw line now. Maya Esau just picked up her fourth personal foul. 
Shot up. Cool. Second shot up. It's also good. Taylor's 4 of 4 from the free throw line. Lamar shot the ball well from the free throw line. Three on the way by Esau, no good. Taylor has it. And you can feel the air coming out of the building on the McGee side of things. It looks like the Lamar Lady Warriors are going to move on into the semifinals with it looks like what will be a victory over a one-seeded McGee Lady Owl team. McGee has played a fantastic season this year. Taylor all the way to the hoop, shot up, good. Shay Taylor, she is fantastic tonight. Not the leading scorer, but she has really directed traffic. And I think she might be player of the game. Shot yep. up, no good by Robinson. That's going to be just about it. 43 seconds to go. And the Lamar Lady Warriors, who have been through some kind of adversity this season, they're going to move on to the state semifinals where they're going to wait. A really good basketball team. We'll see what happens. Three by Taylor up. Out. No good. 12 seconds to go. Robinson is stripped. Williams has it. She's going to dribble it out, and that's going to be the ball game, folks. The Lamar Lady Warriors are going to move on to the state semifinals by virtue of the victory over the McGee Lady Owls. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment as we bring you some interviews with the Lamar Lady Warriors on the Platinum Roof in rapid reaction. We're going to have stats and analysis. If you don't want to miss it, we'll be back in a moment. From the moment you enter the court. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official when I was a senior in high school, 17 years old. I think it's the best decision I've made. You could play and you could make extra money on the weekends on the side, and why not? In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and young athletes who can translate those skills to officiating. So much of officiating is not necessarily what you do on the court. It's how you conduct business off the court as well. Being an official, sure it's not easy. And if it wasn't for those difficulties, I don't think I would be where I'm at because it helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Welcome back to the Platinum Roofing Rapid Reaction as we are going to have some Lamar Lady Warriors coming very soon. Let's give you an H&R block of Clarksville and Russellville three-point update. Lamar shot fantastic inside of the uh, three-point line tonight, 65% from two-point range tonight. And then from the free-throw line, they were 10 of 14. A lot of those came at the very end of the ball game, which really iced the ball game. Lamar couldn't have played much better than they did tonight. Three-point line, they didn't shoot as well, but uh, Cochran, Morgan Cochran did a great job there. I believe she had four three-pointers. McGee just couldn't connect from three-point range tonight. 17% from three. They were 39% from two-point range and 42% from the free-throw line. That is your H&R block of Clarksville and Russellville three-point update. Uh, we are trying to get... Uh, some Lamar Lady Warriors, I don't see them. Adam throws his hands up. We'll find out probably about halftime of the next game, uh, but they'll come up. But I'm sure they'll come up here and talk with us. But uh, man, what a, what a difference uh, a couple games make. 
Uh, you look at, at the semifinals of the regional tournament, it didn't look like that Lamar was going to be much of a factor in this ball or in this tournament. They, you know, I think everybody was probably a little bit let down after Corey Sanders went down, but they have banded together as they have all season long through adversity. They're coming up right now, good deal. They banded together all season long as they have all the time. Let's go ahead and bring you a bracket, uh, bracket up here from Farm Credit Associations of Arkansas. Uh, you can see here McGee and Lamar. Lamar moves on. They will play the winner of Bergman and Harding Academy. Salem and Falk on the other side, along with Episcopal and Glen Rose. So it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun fun time here on the girls' side of things. We'll have all that action tomorrow. Let's look at the boys' side of things. Our first second round matchup: Dumas and Central Arkansas Christian coming up right now on the uh, Farm Credit Association of Arkansas bracket update. Riverview and Bergman are uh, going to be a, a fantastic ball game. They've met before. Charleston and Manila tomorrow, along with Rivercrest and Lakeside. So that is that is your bracket update. We've got girls coming right now. So here we go. I need two of you. Come on, come on, two of you. All right. Get your breath. How are you? I'm awesome. Here, let me, let me help you out. You're awesome. Oh, I'm fantastic right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You guys have been through a lot this year. Yes, sir. You've been through a lot. I don't think that most people would expect that the LeVar Lady Warriors would be in the semifinals right now. What do you think? Well, I mean, anybody in Johnson County definitely does. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm being honest with you. I'm not being a reporter here. I'm very impressed Thank you. by your group. Thank you, sir. I am. Almost get emotional about it. Um, because you guys have banded together. I, I, your senior group here, obviously, your your last one, you'll, you'll either win it in the state championship or you'll lose your last one. Obviously, you don't want the taste of losing it. Also impressed by what you're doing with the point guard position. That's not your natural position. Tell us about what you're doing there. What's your mindset as you're running that point guard position right now? I just, I just know that if like, I just got to – Keep going, like slow down. Like, there's a lot of pressure on me. Sure. But I gotta slow myself down and just take care of it. You're there's playing, a lot on the line. <laughs> you're playing post right now, basically, right? Yes, sir. Tell me what what's that going? What's going on with that? I mean, I played post my whole like career as yeah. a Lamar Warrior, but um, just like our six man is obviously a big man, so I'm having to get out on the perimeter a little bit more, which it's a little different for me, sure. but I feel like it's it's doing okay. Well, you guys, have, you've had a great run here, two wins. One more, what's one more? It's either Bergman or Harding Academy. Yes, sir. You guys know a little bit about Bergman. Yep. Um, Harding Academy, I'm not gonna lie to you, they looked really good. Yep. They looked really good the other night. So, congratulations to you guys. Uh, let's get your other two in here and uh, appreciate you guys coming up. Thank you, sir, thank All right. you. All right. Come on in here. Come on, coach. Bring, bring coach in here. We're gonna, we'll get you in here this time. I've got about a minute and a half here that I can go. You know, these girls fix their hair all week on this Right, thing. well, you know me, I mean, I'm fixing my hair. So, three fell tonight, didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> but did it feel good? It did. Did it feel good coming yeah. up? Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, that first quarter there, that 19 to two run you guys had, obviously, it set the tone. And, and really, you, you set the tone for it. Tell us what you, what was your mindset? You only hit one last night. What was your mindset coming into this game? Well, I knew in this game that they were either going to play top man or a zone, and if that they were going to play us in a zone, that I was going to shoot threes. Yeah. And also, if they were going to press us and be up, that I was going to try and run back and make some in transition. I'll tell you why she shot the ball well, because she got her butt in the gym after she struggled. Right. Yeah, and I did. she spent a lot of time in here just by herself. And this time of the year, when you're a senior, that, that means a lot. And, she struggled a couple of days ago or a couple a couple games back. She knew she did, and she got her butt in here and worked, and that's a testament to her. Coach, what, what's it been like? You guys have been through a, a, a ton. I mean, yeah. it's, I, I can't even. We've been through you, enough. We don't want to talk about that. Right. I know. I know it. But your your team, 
you, you've got a, a Shea Taylor out here running point guard. It's not her natural position. These kids have banded together like, like nothing that I've seen in a yeah. long time. Tell us how that process happened. When you've been through as much as these kids have been through, not only you know this year and last year and just their past, they, they don't want it to end. They love each other. They like, you know, they enjoy spending all the time together. Shay Taylor wants the ball in her hands, period. I mean, she just wants the ball in her hands in those moments. She's going to screw up. She, she hasn't played the point since eighth grade. Right. But our team's gaining confidence every game. We're, we're doing things, you know, more and more, and I just couldn't be more proud of this group of, of seniors, the kids on the bench coming in whenever they need it. Emma Bailey's playing her butt off. Um, yes. You know, Bailey Cow twisted her ankle a little bit and went out there and battled, and our rebounding, you know, we knew going in the game that was going to be key. On the board, it says rebound or lose. Right. And, uh, you know, there were some moments where it wasn't looking very good, but these kids don't want their season to end, and Saturday at noon, this place is going to be packed. It's going to be so much fun. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys, we'll Thank see you. you guys on Saturday. The Lamar Lady Warriors moving on into the semifinals. They'll be our first semifinalist of the tournament. We're looking forward to, to bringing you another one here in just a moment. Stay tuned. We'll, have, we'll be back in just a moment with Dumas and CAC right after this. Thank <sighs> you.